Family, family, I don't know who this message is for, and it might be me talking to myself, okay? I might just be talking to myself, but John, stop reinventing the wheel, okay? Stop reinventing the wheel because you're trying to do something brand new, trying to do something out the box, something that's already been done before, but you're trying to find a different way to do it, but you're trying to create something, you're trying to create something brand new, but it's already been there before. So today I want to break down why we don't need to reinvent the wheel. And in addition to why we don't need to reinvent the wheel, just some other industries and some other places we've seen it done successfully. Let's get into the episode. Welcome to the Your Podcast Mentor Show with Jonathan Jones. Here you will learn how to start, launch, and monetize your podcast. In addition to hearing the latest trends and the latest and greatest things happening in the podcast industry. Are you ready? Family, family, family. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the Your Podcast Mentor Show. And this is your number one source for podcast news, uh, podcast how to's, and also uh, dope and amazing interviews. And today, we're talking about why you don't need to reinvent the wheel. Uh, but before we get there, I want to talk a little bit about podcast news. I woke up this morning and shout out to podcast news um, for this one. I dropped it. I got it in my inbox. And look, TikTok prepares to launch a podcast app. Let's just read the article. Social media app TikTok is preparing to launch a podcast app. Podcast hosting company Audio Means has told Pod News that it spotted a new bot that is scraping our feeds, right? Scraping our feeds is talking about um, your RSS feed in terms of your podcast. And it says starting October 11th. And they've tracked it back. They've tracked it back to TikTok. Okay, so with that being understood, with that being said, check this out. Okay, check this out. TikTok has TikTok has over a billion users, same as Instagram, over a billion users. I want you just to try to conceptualize that. So now if TikTok launches over into having their own podcast app, they already have access to something that everybody wants, which is a ready-made audience. TikTok has people that are sitting there constantly right here scrolling, 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 scrolling their phones, scrolling, scrolling constantly. So therefore, with knowing that, if TikTok actually does follow through and they actually do launch uh, this app for their pod, for a, a podcast app, they will already be able to convert people to either listening to podcasts or even they'll be able to further push the agenda of podcasting. So just imagine that, right? You got a billion people out there and if you convert 10% of that, not even 10%, right? They're going to do numbers. All right. So I just want to share that. Uh, that's the latest and greatest uh, with your podcast news. Just want to share that with y'all uh, today. But now back into the episode, like I said, we're talking about why you don't need to reinvent the wheel. And I was, I was watching the Redeem Team documentary on Netflix this past weekend where they talk about the Dream Team where the basketball, where the US, Team USA basketball went down there and they lost, okay? They're supposed to be the best basketball players in the, in the world, right? Because they're from the NBA and they lost. And they didn't just lose once. I think they got kicked out like 2003, 2004, and 2008. So it was like, man, something is not going right. Something is not going well. However, however... They eventually came back and were able to win and everything like that. But if you're not a sports person or not into it, this is what I want you all to understand. The other countries were utilizing professional players the whole time. Team USA was utilizing college players, some of the better college players. They weren't necessarily using the best of the best in the United States. The message I have for you here today is they went back and started to realize, well, wait a minute, if this is something that everybody else is doing, let's just see what that looks like for us in the United States. How does this apply to your business? How does it apply to your podcast? Well, first and foremost, study what other people are doing. Study what other people are doing. Look, I have this book over here, 
Shout out to David Hooper, right? It's called Big Podcast, right? I got his book. Shout out to John Lee Dumas. I got his podcast and book. And shout out to, you know, Cliff Ravenscraft. Uh, shout out to Dave Jackson. Shout out to Tanner Campbell. Shout out to Seth Silvers. Uh, shout out to uh, just a lot of people doing amazing things in podcasting. Shout, shout out to Anna Yigbaye. I believe I pronounced her name correctly. Shout out to Anna. Anna is killing it. Okay, Anna, that's my sister. She's down in Atlanta. Uh, she put on uh, the Black Podcaster Festival. That was an amazing event. But y'all, study what other people are doing and then see how it makes sense in your business, right? That's the first point. Because if you see other people are having success with with other strategies. I'm not saying all of them are going to work for you, but I will say that you should begin to think and conceptualize, could this work for me? Could I try that? Could this potentially make sense in my business, right? So I, I pulled all that together just from the Redeem Team Tour. Uh, but in addition to that, in terms of advertising, in terms of advertising for years, okay, for years and years and years, we've seen it everywhere. We've seen billboards, Right. In addition to seeing billboards, we've seen commercials. We've seen um, people paying for pay for play is what I like to call it. Like people paying for booths and people paying for sponsoring events and they get to put their branding and stuff like that on the programs and the planner. Where can you pay to play? Right. Maybe you're somebody who has a podcast that talks about home improvement. Maybe you can find some home improvement company, a Home Depot, a Lowe's, a Ace Hardware, and maybe you can see about how you can do some type of partnership with them to where now you can go up there when they're doing these home improvement activities or when they're doing whatever, and then you can see how you can weave your message in there because if your podcast is about home improvement and then you work with a home improvement company, there's some connection there okay there's some synergy there all right so uh that's the second one where can you pay to play find out where can you pay to play can you pay to have somebody endorse your podcast can you pay to have a certain guest on your podcast that could potentially bring you roi which is return on investment okay so where can you pay to play man and then the third piece is just this third piece is this Number one, don't try to do what you see Sprite do, Coca-Cola do, and all these things on the highest level, minimize it. So test it. Test the strategy. Test the strategy. If, if, you've, if you heard somebody say guesting is very, very powerful and guesting is very, very beneficial for a podcast, then test it. Test you being a guest on other people's podcasts and then also test having guests on your podcast. Because when we began to test these things and we began to look at the numbers, shout out to my coach, Worry Taylors. He always talks about looking at the numbers. What are the numbers? What's the stats? Break down the stats. What's the numbers for this? What's the conversions? What's the percentage? What's the cost per lead, right? When we began to look at the numbers and when we began to identify, oh, so for every $5 I put down, I have $20 returning back to me. If I pay $5 to put out an ad, and then I get $20 coming back, like I get a couple of sales on a book, a couple of sales on a product, a couple of sales or a couple of leads coming through, then it was worth it. If I lose, if I put down $5 and I lose $5, I don't get no sales, don't get no leads, don't get nothing coming back in return, maybe that wasn't the best place to put that investment. So family, I just want to drop that nugget on you today as we talk about there's no need for you to reinvent the wheel. It's not necessary. It's not necessary. Okay. So um, this is your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones. And I want to make sure that you know, we got a training coming up. You can go to getpaidwithpodcasting.com. We're going to have that down in the show notes, getpaidwithpodcasting.com. I'm going to show you, I'm going to break down really these three pivotal, pivotal elements uh, that if you're a speaker, coach, consultant that you need to have in your business. And then I'm going to show you how I can help you uh, generate $21,000 like I was able to do through the midst of a month in the midst of the pandemic. But the strategy still applies.
all right? Because it's not a hack. It's not a tactic. This is a strategy, and it still applies. So go to getpaywithpodcasting.com if you're interested in that training. And family, uh, I love you all. I appreciate the continued support of the podcast and just the way that you all have been showing up, leaving reviews, showing love. Uh, until next time, man, peace. And God bless, because this is the Your Podcast Mentor Show, where we help you establish a platform so that you can profit on purpose from your podcast.